Like the waves that begin to swell, like the moon and the tides cohabitating as one, we have an energy, a light source within us. As fierce as lightning striking, we have an inner power that can catapult us to our desires. If we can tap into it, if we don't restrict the flow, you are capable of so much. We as women can be, do, and have it all. And the question isn't, how do I do it? The question is, will you walk? I proudly present Reactivate. Hello, hello, hello. I'm actually going to push this back where I'm at and then so I can bring the microphone a little bit closer. Hopefully we are in a different setup right now. Uh, when I started the video, I was like, oh no, they might not be able to hear me the best. And that's the biggest thing, right? I want you guys to be able to hear what I'm saying and having it land and for it not to be all crappy and muffled and like what's going on. Um, hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to day three of the reactivate masterclass. We in this conversation, my intention for this masterclass is for you to really start thinking of things, of reaching towards your ambitions, towards your goals in such a different fashion, such a different fashion that actually allows us to get it, achieve it, make progress towards it, and allowing space where there is isn't so much of this negativity that's holding us down, that's keeping us from going just like the eh, 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 that I talked about yesterday. So yesterday we went really, really deep on what is your context for what you want. I know I'm keeping this very, very broad. I'm keeping this broad of what does, what is it that you want for a reason? Because I want, there's going to be something in your heart and I do not want the things that I'm saying in terms of like where I come from in the weight loss space or in the body image space, or even in the entrepreneur space to craft or manipulate or any, any movement of, Oh, I should want what she has. Oh, I, okay. Oh, she's reaching for that. I should probably too. I want this to be as pure as possible for you and for you to just truly sit with yourself and say, what do I want in this life, in this lifetime? There's actually a practice that, and I, I realized um, through kind of creating this masterclass that a lot of this information is stuff that I talked about in seasons of strength. And I'm understanding and realizing that seasons of strength has another level so I'm going to actually redo that program and relaunch it um, coming in the next couple of months. So in Seasons of Strength, what we talked about is creating a level of motivation called mortality motivation. So really paring down our life into just asking ourselves a simple question. If I had three years to live, what would I, where would I want to be in three years? If it, if it was just three years. So not being dramatic and just saying like, okay, in a, in a day, if this was your last day, what would you do? Because then it's like, I'm going to go take off work and I'm going to eat everything that I want to do and go have sex. <laughs> it's the three year span of just like, you have three years to create a life for yourself. What do you want? Where do you want to be in three years? And practicing mortality motivation, utilizing that, in creating and crafting our own personal power. Cause like what I said yesterday was there's a difference between circumstantial power and personal power. Circumstantial power is just when everything is in alignment, where everything is going great, where Cabby the dog is like behaving as well as possible, where you wake up and you feel alive, you feel confident, you feel good. There's nothing that's stressing you out. Everything is just good, good, good. Therefore you're like, I am motivated. 
I've got this. I slept eight, nine hours. So I'm going to get up at five in the morning and get on my Peloton and just go. And I have everything that's stocked in the fridge and it's ready to go. And I'm going to have my green smoothie and then have my like prepackaged lunch and everything is good for my health. And I am Zen and I got my meditation in circumstantial power. When things are good, you are good, but we know we have a problem when, if something happens, if something stresses you out, if your mother calls and is just getting nagging on you and it throws you, if you're driving to get the kids to school and someone cuts you off and you're in a bad mood, or if you're going to get the kids and there's traffic and you're already late as is circumstantial power of just the moment something happens, the moment they're like the circumstances around you aren't in alignment of what feels good, what keeps you motivated. The moment something is off, then you lose power in yourself. You don't show up the way that you know you are capable of showing up. And then you have that conversation with yourself, just like, oh, why can't I just do this? Why? Like, oh, it's just one of those days. Give me the wine. Give me the box of Oreos. Like just, if only Cabby would behave. <sighs> Circumstantial power versus creating and crafting personal power and walking with that. Personal power is no matter what you keep walking, no matter what, nothing can throw you off. Sure, things can happen. Somebody can cut you off, you hold it. Sure, your mother might call, piss you off. You hold it. Sure, you might not hit your goal for the revenue month. You hold it. You learn from it. Personal power. Personal power. That's what we're striving for. Not circumstantial power. Not no power. Personal power. And walking with that. This is something that, again, you're going to ask the question, how do I get personal power? And from my experience, it's not how, it's just doing it and understanding the balance between circle. Like we can't just go from relying on circumstantial power and then just being like, I today am stepping into a hundred percent personal power. We're not strong enough there just yet. <laughs> We're not strong. We're like a little baby. Little baby bird. Chirp, 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 chirp. Circumstantial power is knowing that you have a branch to be on when you're learning to fly. And if you just jump off that branch, being like, I have personal power, but you don't actually like have tested it out just yet, you're just gonna but and we do this all the time, but we blame ourselves of, oh, I'm not strong enough, but we, we go too hard without practicing our strength of our wings. And we think that we have to, the moment that we say, I want personal power, we think that we have to go hundred percent all the time that we just have to keep flying and keep flying, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying, keep flying. What personal power is, is knowing the balance of relying on personal power and then knowing when to back off and, and really kind of set up our day for circumstantial power to rely on circumstantial power to rely on. Okay. I know that there are circumstances within my day. This is why morning routines are so like buzzy buzzwords. Cause that's, so that's like the balance of, okay, how do we balance this out of, I have, I'm going to go for personal power, but when I go for personal power and then I have a bad day, you just fall flat on your face. You're like, oh, why, why can't I keep going? Why can't I keep striving? Why can't I keep doing, 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 doing? It's, there's an ebb and a flow. There's a strength. It's, it's, it's a muscle we're building of creating this personal power. I apologize. And so it's going with personal power and then it's going back on your branch and resting. And crafting in your day, what are these circumstances that set you up for inevitable success? What are things that are in your environment that make you feel really, really, really good? We can stimulate ourselves so that we are walking in this personal power, 
we're walking with it. We can, st- we can utilize our circumstances like having a morning routine or taking a shower in the, like in the beginning of the day or working out. Like there's certain things that you know that are in your day that are circumstantial that when you go and get it, you're like, oh, I'm good. I feel good. And then if you don't have those and it's like, I suck. I hate my life. Like, ah, because I didn't get my workout in, in like at the time that I wanted to do the rest of my day is shot. So there's this balance, right? Of really, okay. Yesterday we created our context of everything that we want in our life. Now what? what we usually do. We're like, okay, I'm going to go get it. And we go step straight into, I'm going to utilize personal power. I got this. I'm going to just focus on my, my big context. And then, but we overstretch ourselves. We are a little, little baby bird. And we're just like, we splat. (laughs) And then we put it on ourselves of, I cannot believe you can't soar Katie this first time going for this and you're not soaring. (laughs) There's this ebb and a flow of the feminine energy, which is really stepping into our personal power of just this like, so like truly soaring. I'm now realizing that I wore a shirt that makes me look like a crow (laughs) or Raven. Let's go with Raven. So there's the balance of the personal power right now that we're crafting and we're figuring out, okay, What does this feel like to just be in personal power, to just be in walking where we're like, we, 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 we fly, soar, fly, soar. And then there's a balance too of the masculine energy of stepping into circumstantial power of setting ourselves up for inevitable success. There's a balance here and there's an ebb and a flow of, okay, let's step into, let's go fly with our personal power. And then before we go splat, let's go back. Let's understand when we're going to go splat and step back into circumstantial power and then rest on this little branch. Tweet, tweet. <laughs> let's rest. And then let's go again. Personal power, rest, tweet, tweet. Then go with our, per- then go fly and strengthen and fly and strengthen and fly. And so for this part of the, so figuring out this balance, this flow, this is, this will be your journey. This is, this is it. This is the moment where it's we, okay. All right. I'm in the void right now. I'm in the void. How do I navigate this void? How? You know what? At this point, how is a good question, (laughs) but it also is it's in who you are being and the number one thing we're going to keep it super, super simple, tapping in to your emotions and not being afraid of these emotions at all. Going from personal power, personal power is going to feel amazing and scary and amazing and scary and amazing and really freaking scary at the, all at the same time going in because you're going to be putting out your wings. You're going to leap off that branch and you're going to soar and understanding the, the understanding when you need to lean back onto the branch to be like, okay, let me rest a little bit. Let me step back into circumstantial power. So dang fun. So dang scary so amazing a belief of a feeling of just I can do absolutely everything and I might fall right now too when we step into personal power there are things will go in your head of maybe I'm gonna fly maybe I'm gonna fall maybe I'm gonna fly maybe I'm gonna fall maybe yes I'm going to get what I want. Maybe no, nope, nope. You're going to fail. You're going to disappoint people. You're going to, you're going to go broke. Oh, when do I, when am I going to keep, there's, there's, so when we are stepping into personal power at the same time, there's a maybe yes, this is going to work out and maybe no, it won't work. 
Here's the thing though, with personal power. So one wing of a maybe yes, one wing of a maybe no. When you're in this flight pattern right here, you will have thoughts. We can, we can direct it to be more so maybe yes, to strengthen this. So you kind of start to soar, but you're going to have a lot more things come. Maybe no, maybe no, maybe no. And this is where mindset comes in. It's so, it's so incredible because there's a, it's 50, 50 right now, right? 50, 50. But if you start thinking thoughts of Maybe no, I, okay. Oh gosh, I'm not good enough. Okay. This, I don't know if this is going to work, but like, let's just keep trying to, but like, I, like this didn't work out. You start to lean a little towards the, maybe no, maybe yes, maybe no. And so what is so important then when we're in this flight, your emotions dictate if it's a maybe no, and falling versus a maybe yes. And I know this <laughs> as I'm doing this, it made sense to be like, maybe no, and then you fall. And then maybe yes, going this way. And it also just looks like you're falling the other way. Imagine it's a balance. <laughs> or imagine too, I'm just like, you're flying and this direction is failure. And let's go with that. <laughs> this direction going this way is you are going towards the maybe no, you're going to fail. This direction is a maybe yes, you are going to succeed. So your emotions, our emotions dictate our thoughts and our feelings and our beliefs and our beliefs shape our actions. So if you have more emotions that are in the negative and that to start to compound, we start flying towards the maybe no, this isn't going to work. And then when we are like, we maybe no, start right back or you start 10 steps behind. So we start to compound those or we start to compound the maybe yes. Oh my gosh, this is going to work. This is going to work. Maybe, 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 maybe. And it feels like it's like, hoo, 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 wee, 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 wee. So you're flying and a maybe no thought pops into your head. The, these are not bad thoughts. These will come. The trouble is the compounding part of things. The trouble and the success comes from compounding. So if you have a maybe no thought, but if you hold it and let it come through you and you go through a process of really either holding it and one or two things can happen. You can hold this negative thought. And a lot of the time, just by holding it and not letting it compound, it just goes through you and you walk through it and you are like, okay, I'm good. You hold it. You walk through it. You're like, okay, I'm, I'm going this way. I'm going this way. I'm walking through it. You level out. You come back to neutral. So you can either hold this thought, this of, I'm not good enough. Okay, hold it. Hold, hold the I'm not good enough. Hold it. Walk, walk. Remember your context. Okay, just hold it. Don't walk. I misspoke. Hold it. Remember your context. Okay. The moment you don't feel it, then walk. Hold, hold, hold. Don't, don't, don't walk. Don't, you're good. Hold it. You're a bird that can actually like stand in the middle of the wind and not like go anywhere. You're frozen. <laughs> I'm really making you visualize this, right? But imagine a bird flying and then you get a bad thing. And if you can hold it, you're like, nope, I'm not going to fly anymore. I'm just going to be here in the wind, not going one way or the other. You're just holding it. You're like, I'm stuck. <laughs> this makes sense in my head. So I'm sure it'll make sense in your head. You hold it and then you count, you go back, you level out. That's one way. Or a negative feeling thought comes of the maybe no. 
and you go through and just be like, okay, what is the better thinking thought from this then? Just the next belief of just like, can I get out of it? You're not enough, but am I like, is that true? No. Okay. You're going to fail at this. Have you failed? Like, are you okay? That's honestly for any situation here. A huge thing of this part is just coming up with what are statements that can neutralize you back into that you can 100% believe in no matter what. Of when there are thoughts that are coming up that are, I'm not good enough. I'm never going to get there. I suck. This like the start that start to compound and you start flying towards the maybe no, this isn't going to happen. Can you think of some thoughts that are you feel to be true that can neutralize you? A big one for me is I am okay. Right now, I am okay. I am alive. I am safe. So can you come up with like 10, I don't want to say positive thinking thoughts, but just neutral thoughts that can always stabilize you when you are, when your mindset starts to go towards the, maybe, no, this isn't going to work. Can we stabilize this? So those are the two things. So when, when we go, when we go, we, I'm so motivated. My context is amazing. We go, we, and then we're in the void and the void. We don't know how long it's going to be there. It doesn't matter with time though, because our context can hold it all. Can you walk in alignment then? Can you fly in alignment? And what alignment truly is, it's just alignment is we going towards the maybe yes, maybe yes. I'm going to choose. I don't know there. I'm in the void right now. And I'm reaching for something that is like possible that it, it can happen. It's possible. it can happen. It's not, it's not predictable. It's not like set in stone because our context is so big. Our context is a, is a possible goal of like, I think I could get this, but it's not a hundred percent. And when we get in the possible, it's like, I like, I like yes and no. I like knowing that when I Google how to lose weight, how to make a million dollars, how to run a business, I like to Google and be like, this X, Y, and Z will lead me towards, it's a yes. It's a yes or a no. I, we, like, we like that. We like predictable. But right now, what we're stepping into is possible. Big context. We can set predictable contexts. Either you get it or you don't. We can set up, oh, I'm going to eat salads every single day for the next five days. Predictable, small context. But what we want is more. We want so much more. We want the possibility of life, the possibility of what can I, what can I strive for? And with that possibility comes this void, where we're at, where we want to go, this void of a lot of maybes. Maybe yes, we get it. And that's what sparks are. Yay. Maybe no, we get it. That sparks are. Let's go back. <laughs> Let's go back. And we say stuck or we go even further. And so when we take that step, we maybe yes. And we're like, oh, I'm in this void. And maybe no is also just as likely to happen. Holy shit. What did I just do? Part of my language. I'm so sorry if you're listening with kids, you're in this void. Maybe yes, this will work. Maybe no. Oh my God. What did I just do? Maybe no, maybe no, maybe no, maybe no. Oh, okay. Can we fly? Can we walk in alignment? This is the the next step is it's create the context and then it's walk in alignment with your context. And so walking in alignment with this context means when you're flying, maybe yes is always, it's maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe yes, maybe yes. yes, And you start to lean towards that way. And how do you know that you're in alignment? It feels good. (sighs) It feels good. 
that's as simple as I can make it and that I want to make it. You feel good. But Katie, what happens when I'm disappointed and I don't follow through on something? Okay. Well, you just hold, you hold it. This is where it's the duality, the duality of you can feel good and also feel disappointment at the same time. It's when we start to feel the disappointment and we start to let that compound. And then our emotions start to, we start to like the whole day or like nervous system starts to go in this negative thinking thoughts. That is the problem. And that we do so much. Or we feel the disappointment and then we just push away. But it's in the back of our head, right? We're like, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. But we know it creeps up and then we're like, nope, 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 nope. It creeps up again. Nope, 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 nope. It creeps up again. Nope, 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 nope. It creeps up. Nope, creeps up. Nope, 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 nope. And then you're in the middle of the night and it creeps up and you're like, I can't sleep. Oh, just don't think about it. 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 If it keeps creeping up, if you keep feeling bad, that's a sign that you're out of alignment with your context. It's not growing pains. It's not like, oh, you're, you're growing and you're stretching yourself and it's supposed to feel like hard and work. Like there's this balance of it, but a lot of the times we, at least for me, I misunderstood what it meant to grow in alignment, to walk in alignment. I thought that when I was frustrated with myself for not following through, when I had some anxiety, when I, I was like, anxiety is good because that means that I'm trying to grow into this version of me. So it's like, I'm good. I'm just uncomfortable and uncomfortable is good. Yet I didn't realize that I was just pushing away my anxiety, pushing away, pushing away, pushing away versus holding it. And getting myself back on to the neutral zone. Holding it and learning the lesson from that negative feeling thought. Or having the personal power to get back into my neutral zone. It was for me, it was just push away, push away. But but because it was still there, it was weighing me down. And I was going towards this way. And this is where it's this amazing balance of figuring out how long can you soar and step into that personal power? And then when is it good to lean back onto circumstantial power? And that can look like a daily routine, a weekly routine, a monthly routine, an hourly routine of just figuring out, okay, what's the ebb and flow for me that works. And just the number one thing that I can tell you is living into alignment is just checking into your emotions and understanding and and realizing, am I feeling my emotions all the way through Or am I just pushing them away, pushing them away, pushing them away, letting them compound, 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 compound. Because each time anxiety comes up and if I don't hold it and go through it, it stacks. Mm, 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 mm. Versus can I let it stack, but neutralize it back in and then walk from that neutralized point or walk from the maybe yes. This is why positive affirmations meditation, like it doesn't work all the time because if you're going this way and if you start thinking positive affirmations, positive affirmations, your brain is like, no, the truth I see is maybe no. So every positive affirmation that you say, if it doesn't, if you don't get back to a neutralized zone, it's like this area over here is so far away from the truth that you're telling me like, you can do this. It's positive affirmation. Your brain doesn't actually truly believe it. And we just are like, nope, you even, you lean even further sometimes if you're like me away out of alignment towards what I want in alignment towards what I didn't want. But I thought I was like, well, I'm work. I'm, I got like, no, 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 
negative, like positive things, not I'm good, I'm worthy, I can do this. Da, 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 da. Like, ah. and it was just, it was a fault. That's where I, I was like, I was, I felt like I was walking in alignment, but I was so out far out of alignment. In truth, I actually was playing not to lose versus playing to win. So there's a difference between when we start going this way and there's like a maybe no, and you're like, let's, let's take in, okay. Um, let's say, let's say with my a business. So let's make this financial. It's like, I want to um, have 50K a month. Let's go big. <laughs> Women have six, we, we know, we know there's like, we know there's some, we saw the first video, people are making like a million dollar months. <laughs> so playing to win, it's like a bullseye. And if I'm playing to win, everything around it is like, I might not hit it, the 50K, but it's like 20K, 10K, playing to win, playing to win, playing to win. You will, like, you feel good when you're going towards that. That's over here. Playing not to lose. It's like, I'm reaching for a 50K, but I just don't want to like not, not make money. So when I'm reaching towards there, there's, there's a negativity around that. So what does it mean to play to win versus play not to lose for you? This is where it's, it's everything that we've been taught about creating success. There's so much more about tapping into your own personal strength and personal power versus just saying affirmations, putting things in your calendar, time management skills. Like, yes, that all works when we are in alignment towards our goal. But the true art is to understand when are you in alignment and when are you out of alignment? And when do you think you're in alignment, but you're truly out of alignment? And as simple as I can, as simple, 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 simple is how do you feel? How do you feel? Do you feel good or do you feel not bad? And there's a difference too, because I know some women are going to watch this and they're like, I don't feel great doing a Peloton workout. That's not what I mean here. <laughs> That's not what I mean. <laughs> I don't feel great having salads, like I'm constricting myself. Well, actually, you know what? If that is the case though, you should check in with that because it's like you're out of alignment in the way that it works for you to see the result for your health. It, it feels good. And if it doesn't feel good, then what, what needs to change? What's, what's stopping you from feeling good? What is, and go deeper too, of just like, I just hate the activity. I just don't like it. I just don't like going live for my business. I just don't like doing the workouts. I just don't like, like, I just love sleeping in and I just don't want to wake up in the morning. Then don't. What feels good within your context, walk that direction, walk with that craft that. If it doesn't feel good for you to wake up in the morning, then don't. You don't have to stop taking what Rachel Hollis says that like getting up at five in the morning and having to like fit that into your puzzle piece. It's not working if you don't feel good with it. And sure too, though, there might be some like, ah, oh, in this moment, it doesn't feel good. But like in the afterthought of it, if once you do it, you're like, oh, that felt good. then that, that means you're in alignment. So it's that discernment of what is in alignment and what's out of alignment. What I mean is when you feel stressed, frustrated, anxiousness, sadness, disappointment, all of those feelings do not walk with those. Don't push those slow it down and hold it. Understand what is that emotion telling you right now? It's telling you you're out of alignment. So take it as a gift instead of just Nope. I'm not feeling it. Nope. I'm strong on this. Nope. I'm like, nope, 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 no, no. I'm like, I'm not that anxious person. Nope. I gotta, I gotta keep going. I should be stronger than this. Like, this is not the type of person I have so much other things to do. I'm just, nope, nope, nope. Don't stop doing that. We have to stop doing that. We have to stop walking 
in this life with trying to achieve our level of context, this ambition that we desire, and we're walking away from it because we're walking with this frustration of I'm not there enough. And when we're like, when I'm not there enough, I'm frustrated with myself. I'm not getting there. That You're walking away from it. So stop doing it like that. And instead, when there is a negative feeling in your body, that's a positive sign for you. It's your body's telling you, we're out of alignment. We're flying the other way. It's like your navigation system. You're like an insane bird that can completely stop (laughs) flying. And also it knows when you're going the wrong way, when you're headed north, when it's winter time and you're supposed to be going south. We have this navigation system, yet we don't tap into it because feelings are weak. Our emotions are unbecoming of us. They get in the way. No, not anymore. Part of stepping into our own personal power is utilizing everything that our body has to offer as a catalyst for our potential. That's it. And it's being so dang brave to allow those emotions to come up and for you to feel them and hold them. Because our greatest trauma as women is this fear of disappointment. We don't want it. We do not want to feel disappointment. I talked about that yesterday. So we'll push it away, push it away, push it away, or we'll do things because we fear disappointing others. Because we're so afraid to hold what feeling disappointment feels like for us. But when we learn to hold disappointment, we keep walking in alignment because it is, it's, it's, it's not navigating these emotions and saying, oh, if I follow everything that feels good, then I'm just going to like, I'm just like aloof, a leaf in the wind is blowing wherever my little heart desires. No. Trust that you will take action based on everything that's good for you. And when things are good for you, it's good for us. Or it's good for, sorry, if everything that's good for you, it's good for, or everything that's good for me. So me as in you, I'm confusing myself while I'm saying this. Everything that's good for me, I'm walking in a place that it's good for you. And it's good for us then. So know that every desire that you have, ambition that you have, do not feel good or feel feel guilty or that it's going to take away from your kids, but that's going to take away from your husband or you're not going to, you're going to disappoint them. It's no, no, you walking into where you feel good all the time. Give yourself enough credit that you are walking with them, your loved ones in mind. That everything that you want, that every, like, even if it doesn't make sense for you in the moment, in hindsight, it is good for everybody in your life. When you're walking towards your context, towards your ambition in alignment, where you feel good, know that even if you're just like, oh, but like me taking this hour to do this one thing, or for me to like focus in on myself or take this night for myself to really focus in on my personal development, that's taking away the kids. My husband's going to have to take care of them. And like, that's going to cause no, the fear of disappointing your husband by taking time for you. Or like, that's, that's a big common one that I talk with women a lot. Know that though it feels like it now, that's just your fear of disappointment. Can you hold that fear of disappointment? Keep walking. And then in hindsight, you can see what's good for me is good for you. And it's good for us. And to trust in your own self that your desires, no matter what they are, it feels good to clean the house, even though you're like, I have this project to do. It's good for everybody. Because it is, we're playing with energy right now then. 
we're playing with energy of just when we feel good, it's like we become, we're a light that becomes a magnifying glass and we just burn the things that we want like that. We zone in on it and we're so dang focused. Have you ever had those days where you're just like, boom, 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 boom. Sometimes when we look back at that and I was like, oh, it's circumstantial power. Everything was just lined up. We can create that with personal power by just following what we want. By just following our desires and our ambitions. We can become the magnifying glass where everything that we want, once we zero in on it, we're like, I just got everything that I wanted done in the day. We, 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 we. Something, something hard comes up, disappointment, fear, anxiety, hold it. We hold, okay, hold, 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 hold. Okay, you'll know when to walk again. You'll know. Do not be judgmental for how long it might take if you need to curl up in a blanket. Watch a sad movie if you're feeling sad. You hold that. You, f- you go through those emotions and then you walk. You don't let those emotions kind of tattoo on your heart. Because when those tattoos hit, it's maybe no. Can you walk, hold, go through those emotions? Don't let them compound and be brave enough to keep walking towards the things that light your heart on fire, even if they don't make sense in the time. Like they don't make sense. Even if you're just like, oh, it's the middle of the day. I want to go take a bath. Do it and see what happens. Be brave enough to do that. Play with this kind of energy of just play, play simply, simply as possible. Over the next week, I, I challenge you to play with this, to say, okay, Katie, I crafted this context. I feel really good about this context. I crafted it. It's here. Okay. We step in, step into the void. And all I want you to do over the next week is walk towards things and with things that feel good. Do not be judgmental about what they are. Don't be judgmental. If you say your context is to create a thriving six-figure business and it feels good to clean your house or to do your nails or to sleep in, don't just, just, just play with me on this one and walk with what feels good and see what kind of energy kind of starts to radiate and how you can play with this and be like, okay, this doesn't make sense because I have a list of like a thousand things that I need to get done, but let me play with what feeling feels good. And then I promise you, you'll have those moments where you become the, um, whatever it's called the telescope thing. And you burn into that to-do list. I I promise you, if you play, if you play with this, If you walk with this and if you say, okay, what feels good. And then when things do come up that feel hard, that voice of like, you should not be doing this. You should not be sleeping in because like you have so much to do. Just hold it, hold it, neutralize it. Think what is the better thing you thought? Okay. I am safe. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And get back into alignment. Play with this one. There is so more like not. <laughs> we haven't even scratched the surface <laughs> of where this can go. There is so many levels to this of emotional intelligence, of understanding what it means to feel these negative emotions and not let them imprint your like physiology and your so that there's like held trauma in your body. Like there's so there's so much to this. And so with that, just practice this. And I know too, like, please read, like send me a DM if you have questions on this and I can further explain it because I know when I was told, do what feels good for you, Katie. I was like, 
What feels good for me is just to watch Netflix all day and to sleep in and eat Oreos. But doing the work and understanding that I realized I was coming, I was so over here. I was so out of alignment that it was like, what felt good was truly probably just to neutralize if that or slowly get out of this. And I, and so I couldn't even see it because I was so far towards the maybe no without, but I was blinded towards it. I thought I was going towards the maybe yes. I was so far deep into the maybe no, that when I was told, follow what feels good for you, Katie, it felt like if I follow what feels good for me, it's going to take me forever to get for what I want. Because it was, I was so, I was like, I was almost like down here. Here's the ground. Here's me hovering above the ground, like still flying, still flying, still flying. I was about to splat. But by going into of what feels good, I neutralized so much faster. Then when I, if I would have kept pushing and going, I would have splat. And so if you are feeling this, if you, if you are feeling like Katie, if I just followed what felt good, I am going to fail just one week, try leaning in on this because when I did this like that, that's, that's where it's like, how do you do this? You just do it. How do you neutralize? You just do it. And like, cause there, there wasn't even, I couldn't even say, okay, do this thing. And then that thing. And then X, Y, and Z. And then you like start to kind of, you escalate up the stairs. So then you start to neutralize and then you can start to soar. It's, it wasn't like that. It was just like, okay, start doing what you want to do. Okay. Oh. Yay. <laughs> in hindsight, I was like, huh, it didn't take that long. But when I was in it, I was like, this isn't going to work. No, the fear of disappointing myself of if I, if I actually like followed in on what I wanted to do, what felt good for me, it was, I was just going to stay the same or or I was going to not like the fear, the fear of disappointing myself of just like, nope, it's not going to work either. You can't, you can't take your, like, you can't take the pedal off the, or your foot off the gas or else you're just going to fall. All these things came up in my head. And when I was brave enough to say, I trust in myself more than anything else. So I trust these desires are for me. It happens like that. Let me check. Play with this one. Play with it. Even if it's just for like a day, one day, give me one day. Recalibrate yourself, follow into your desires and see. And I, there will be a moment where it's like, huh, because it's in that, like once I was, I was, I was deep. I was deep, far away from my ambition. I followed my desires back in. I, there was still those voices. So it felt like it was a hard pull because I didn't understand what holding it meant for me. You get to a neutralized point, this point, and then you know what to do next. How do you get a million dollars? How do you lose the weight? How do you have a six figure day? It's the wrong question. you will know what questions to ask and you will know what answers that you already have inside you. You will neutralize and you will know. I know it sounds woo woo, but there is, there's wisdom that we have if we are brave enough to remove the blinds that old paradigms have instilled in us in our belief system. So your guys' homework over the next two days is to lean in over the next week. I really want you to, I want you to practice this one. Sit with what feels good and hold what doesn't just hold it. 
So guys, keep going on. <laughs>